si tu m'aimes, viens avec moi. We made it. I love it when Ryan goes into airport dad mode. Come on, hurry up, get past all that. Look at the way, sir. It's been a week. It's very true. <laughs> Literally was here a week ago. Loved it so much. Couldn't wait to come back. Oof. I look a bit dishevelled. Wow. My skin. She is dry. Also, still got my flight socks on, so I'm feeling uh, really cool right now. Ultimate airport nerd mode. <laughs> you have to wear them, guys. You have to wear them. They're important. You don't understand. <laughs> if I want my feet to fit in my shoes, flight socks. It is so freaking hot. Oh, it is so warm. <laughs> First night out in Nice, and I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. Actually, this mirror, much better for showing you what I'm wearing. There's so many mirrors in this hotel room. Love it. So I am wearing this dress from House of CB. I have been really wanting to wear this on a holiday at some point, and I was like, do you know what, this is This is it, this is the moment. So I'm wearing it with my Edge of Ember necklace, Monica Vinader earrings. I can't be bothered with the rest of the jewelry, and my body is still like, swollen from the flight and adjusting to the heat so we're just leaving me ringless and then my bag is my cult gaia basket bag and i have my ysl flats and i also have my celine sunnies i also bought some new sunnies which i will show you uh whilst we're here i, I want to show you everything that i have bought um for this little trip until then uh we're gonna go for dinner and i need to go because ryan's very patiently waiting for me whilst I take a thousand selfies and vlog and TikTok. So, let's go. finished dinner and we have come to get some sorbet. I'm going for the mint which was there, not anymore. And then I'm also having the cacao sorbet on the end here. I can't wait. It's going to be so delicious. Honestly, can't tell you what I'd give to be able to eat a pistachio ice cream right now. If you can eat dairy, someone needs to have one for me this summer and raise a toast to me because I miss pistachio ice cream. Oh, is that mine? That looks so good. Oh my god. Brian wants me to try his ice cream. You're gonna have to spoon feed oh, it one. to me. The mojito flavor. Yeah. Trying the mojito sorbet. Oh my god. That's so nice. Mm. I don't look cute. <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> I, I thought in my head I was going to be like, well, natural. <laughs> when I'm doing it. Like, what now? <laughs> that just sums up <laughs> vlogging in general. That sums up the last 10 years of my life. Gets the camera out. What now? Good morning. Bonjour. Oui, oui. Oh, this is just the best view. I've just been getting ready for the day. We had the nicest time last night. We went into Nice Old Town and it's just so beautiful there. Absolutely loved it. We just had some like food here. We're here for the vibes. We're not here for the food because we can't eat half of it. And eating just in Europe in general, if you're vegan, is tricky. Like if you are a vegan in Europe, I would love to know how it's going for you because when we travel sometimes it is like sometimes Ryan just eats like chips and salad for a full week and it is quite interesting so with that in mind we went and had a lovely big bowl of pasta and some fries it was great and then we went and got some sorbet and it was so good oh it was just delicious it was so delicious also the rosé at dinner so good like uh, the, my favorite thing about coming to france is that you can just order a glass of rosé and i don't even know what the brand is that i'm drinking but i know it's gonna taste good it's not like in the uk where you have to be a bit picky like over here it's just good but anyway this morning i have a few bits to show you the last thing 
Mm. So normally before I go away, I like to show you everything that I've bought for my trip and like do a little try on. I didn't get the chance to do that. I've just inhaled a load of perfume, oh my God, wow. <laughs> normally I do that, but I didn't get the chance to before this trip because everything has just been so hectic. So I thought I would show you everything that I bought now and then I will show you what it looks like on throughout the vlog. Some of this I have been like gathering for quite some time and I did show you before in a previous video that got scrapped. So let's go for round two. Um, first up, I'm gonna start with jewelry. I have bought some like really big statement jewelry. These are, I think it's all, yeah, all from Zara. Um, so we have these little kind of flower quartz type earrings. They're really, they look crazy, but when you actually just have them on with like a slick bun, they look so sweet. And in keeping with the theme of crazy earrings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with these. I just think they're so funny. I love them. They give me like Little Mermaid under the sea vibes. And yeah, they look a bit wild, but if you put them with something really boring, like even with this, this tank top is new by the way, um, from Skims and I'm obsessed with it. It just fits so nicely, it feels so nice. Um, so I am gonna need about a hundred of these. Like this is my perfect like tank top cut i think it suits me a lot uh but yeah just with a really just take a jeans and a t-shirt outfit and put these on and i just think they look so good but you have to pair them with something really simple or otherwise they look a bit too wild final item of jewelry this actually has a little um like tiny shell necklace that goes with it as well but i didn't really buy it for that i bought it for this giant shell which i just think is really cool it's giving little mermaid uh, i actually put this on with a black dress a strapless black dress just the one that i wear all the time at home and instantly i was cackling i was fully cackling i will put the photo of me in the dress here and then i will put the photo of what came into my brain <laughs> that immediately went into several group chats this shell necklace is just bringing me a lot of little mermaid related joy this i want to wear in a couple of different ways so hopefully you'll see that throughout this vlog i mean i have bought so many outfits and we are only here for a few days so this is gonna be interesting, but I will show you photos of everything if I don't get to wear it in this video. But that is jewelry. I also bought some sunnies. I am so excited about these. I immediately, I saw they were in stock. I put one in my bag and then I sent the link to Amelia as well because we have been on the hunt for these. They're like really cool vintage style Celine's but they give me a little bit of like it's like elevated Ray-Ban vibes and I love the old school like Ray-Bans with the um like the gold frame and I just think these are so cool the arm on them I don't feel like you can see properly unless I fully turn to the side so it's got the Celine logo on the arm and they look so old school and vintage even the case that it comes with is like really vintagey and I just love them so I'm very, very happy that I managed to get my hands on these. It was like, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it was non-stop refreshing on the hour, every hour for a good, I'm going to say four days. And I don't like to admit that because that's a massive waste of my time. But well, clearly not. It could have been a massive waste of my time. I also have a couple of new fragrances that I've brought with me on this trip. If you know, you know, if you watched the last vlog, you will know that I was desperate to get my hands on this after staying at Victoria's. Why are you not focusing? I dropped my camera the other day and uh, it is not happy. So yeah, if you watched the last vlog, you'll remember this one. This is Vanilla Diorama by Dior and this smells so good. Like if you love a vanilla based fragrance, you're going to absolutely adore this. If you like like Tom Ford tobacco vanilla, but without, if you wanted it without the tobacco, this is basically it. It's just, it's so beautiful. I am obsessed. And I also got another one because of my friend Ellie. I was on a hen do uh, batch party if you're from the US because um, I know some people are like what on earth is that um I was on a bachelorette party uh, a couple of months ago and one of the friends that I made on the trip was wearing the most phenomenal fragrance and I asked what it was and it is Oud Isfan by Dior I hope I'm saying that right this is absolutely phenomenal the two of them mixed together so nice so that is why I have them in the smaller bottles they do like a bigger bottle and then they do an even bigger bottle which is just wild to me I got the smaller bottles one 
because of the price because I knew that I wanted to and I was like oh full size no but also I like being able to travel with them and I knew I'd want to take them around with me I knew I would want to throw them in my bag so I picked them up in the smaller size like they're bougie enough as it is but they smell so good together so it's so nice to be able to travel with both and wear both and mix both and I just love them so if you're looking for a nice like bougie fragrance would highly recommend i'm also trialing when i bought these i got a couple of little samples and i got dior riviera which smells lovely it's like rose and fig like fresh rose so like not super sickly rosy um but very figgy now before we move on to clothes i also got a new lipstick again if you know from the last vlog then you know was it the last no there will be a vlog in between the last vlog and this vlog. So the vlog from when I was at Victoria's with Amelia, this is Lancome 510 Rouge Drama Matte in the shade Divine Idol 510. It's so nice. I just realized I actually didn't have it on, so you're getting a full try on. It's so nice. I was even wearing it the other day and I didn't have a lot of other makeup on and I find when I'm not wearing makeup that there is not a lipstick on God's earth that actually looks good on me when I don't have makeup on my skin is just such a like ashy tone nothing looks good with it apart from like a clear gloss or a lip balm and that actually looked pretty decent so I'm impressed I love it I love how matte it is like it is fully fully matte and the shade is just my perfect pinky nudie brownie shade it's the perfect lightness as well i find a lot of the time nudes are too dark for me um and then in terms of clothes i picked up a fair few bits this is one that i've had for a little while and been sitting on it's from mango and i really just want to wear it with like a pair of linen trousers and have it be like super cute and relaxed but like nice and dressy at the same time i actually was going to wear this last night but i wanted to i was thinking about the hair cycle on this trip and as of like this afternoon i think my hair is going to be in a bun for the rest of the trip so um i wanted to wear the yellow dress because i would wear my hair down with it there's a lot of logistics going on right now you guys you know but this looks so sick with like a slick bun or just even a really relaxed kind of loose bun but then like celine sunglasses on especially the tortoiseshell ones it just looks so good you will need some kind of like bra or nipple covers going on underneath because she is sheer you guys and then i also have this top from reformation which i love so much it's so simple just a white linen top but it is so nice with my cream kind of linen trousers even though they, the whites don't match it's a difference enough that it doesn't look like they were meant to ma ever match but the two linen tones work really nicely together and i cannot wait to wear this with like the little earrings i think that's going to be so nice the only thing i would say about reformation is i have just never been able to get my sizing right if i buy an eight on the website it just is always way too big for me so i would say if you're in between sizes size down so just keep that in mind um i also got this from reformation it's a little two-piece which i'm hoping i'll get the chance to wear even if it's just shortly for this trip i'd love to get some pics and it's giving French Riviera. I don't know why, but this just screams like standing by the sea, cute sunnies on, slick back bun. I also picked up a shirt, uh, which I I might wear this today. I'm not sure. I really need to decide quite quickly what I'm going to be wearing today because we are going for lunch. And I didn't really know about this lunch. I didn't really have it in my plans when I was planning outfits. So yeah, I don't know what to wear to it. But anyway, and it looks a bit windy today. So I don't know if the shirt is the one because it might be a bit flappy. Anyway, I got this white shirt from Adenola and it's a really nice almost like relaxed material but kind of has like a good structure to it as well i got it in a size extra small and it's like the perfect kind of oversized white shirt for me and even though it's a little bit thicker it's cotton so hopefully it's going to be really breathable as well i just wanted to wear that like over a really cute little bikini with maybe like my white linen trousers the white linen trousers or cream or whatever they are really going to be doing the most on this trip then we also have in this little bag i saw this on amelia and i was like i need i need this i need this it is so cute i love a yellow and um, it's just like a really long maxi beach dress and i just think it's so cool and i've got a little yellow and pink bikini to wear underneath it honestly trying to find a yellow bikini was like 
trying to win the lottery so yeah it's like pink on the top and then it goes yellow and i thought that was a really nice twist to have underneath this was like a little pop of pink so i'm super excited to wear that i think i'll probably wear that up to the pool uh this morning and then i also picked up another bikini this is the hunza g rose ink collab bikini and i let me tell you i was not sure on this color i really i took a big gamble on this because this color i looked at it on the website and on the models and i was like that is going to wash me out so badly like there's no way that's gonna look good on me and i do think this is definitely more of a summer bikini for me i actually do think this would wash me out in the winter but i've got a little glow at the moment and it actually does look really lovely it looks more pinky than creamy which is i really thought it was going to look a bit more beige but it doesn't and it looks really cute and i love this top style it's very lifting you know working against gravity and i love that and it fits super well um all of the hunza g bikinis are one size as well so i love how they kind of just work with my body like especially the swimsuits i'm just like this is a swimsuit for life like i have seen so many girls when they're pregnant still wearing them and it just like accommodates the bump but i am intrigued to see how supportive it is when you have a bump not that that's happening anytime soon, but when the time comes, I will be giving them the full road test. Don't you worry. Yeah, and these are the bottoms as well. Just really cute and comfy. Love that. So that is everything I bought for this trip. I'm gonna get changed now into this. Go upstairs. We have a rooftop pool. It looks like the view is gonna be insane. Gonna grab a coffee, have a little chill. And then I think I might wear this top maybe. And then the linen trousers, cause that's quite nice and relaxed. I need to not get makeup on this. Um, that's quite nice and relaxed for lunch, I think. I need to have a look through my folder. I try everything on now before I go away and I take photos of everything so that I can see what's good. Oh, I do also have this. I also have this. Maybe I'll wear that for dinner and switch the top. That's cute. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear the... talking myself into this yeah here he is this is nice wow you look so cute oh my god wow not bad i didn't get to show you guys my outfit i'll show you when we get back to the room it's cute ryan said i need to show you guys the view this is my view no, but in all seriousness, it is so pretty. So we're like a little further out of Nice. Like Nice Old Town is like round here. And I feel like where we're going for lunch is like somewhere over here. So the pool was really cute. I just want to show you my outfit quickly before we go for lunch. So Sunny's are from Celine. My earrings are from Etsy. The bikini is from ASOS. I can't remember if I said that earlier. I actually don't remember if I said where anything was from. I was still half asleep, if I'm honest. But yeah, the bikini is from ASOS. The yellow niche dress is from Farfetch. The bag is Colt Gaia. And then my shoes are from Chanel. I stole these off Victoria and they're so cute. But now I need to get changed into something for lunch and yeah, I'm thinking something white, something linen-y. I'm probably gonna wear these shoes still and these sunglasses and all the same accessories, but just something with a little bit more coverage. So this is my outfit for lunch. We need to move fast because the Uber is on its way. Uh, so we have the Zara earrings, the Reformation top, which if you want it shorter, you can just roll it up and it will stay. My trousers are my Zara linen ones. I've got the Chanel Perspex sliders, the courtesy of Victoria, and then the YSL Reeve Gauche bag because it's fitting so many things in it. Um, I think we're going to be out now for the afternoon, so I've like packed my life into this. So yeah, that is what I'm wearing. Uh, Celine Sunny's, as you already know, that is the outfit. Let's go. <music> For lunch i am gonna absolutely be bricking it going over this little bridge if we have to go over it wow but how cute is that he says he might get an aperol ryan has entered vacation mode oh mojito that's his favorite yeah big holiday energy 
a big mouth for me. I might make less. Good. So we have zucchini flour fritters, tofu, basically tofu salad. Is that right? Yeah, it's like a marinated tofu, pomegranate seeds and stuff. And then, because this technically wasn't vegan because of the batter, so I ordered the shaker. Looks good. Good. I have no notes. Would you like to tell the people where we are? Because your accent's much better than mine. Some museum somewhere. Ryan, this. you just did it really well. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> you put that in the comments, it's going to be like, oh my god, you butchered that. <laughs> no, I don't think they will. If I had said it, they would be like, wow, she butchered that. <gasps> this is so pretty. I know that we're old now that we're choosing to come to museums. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the first holiday I've ever like fully chosen to come to a museum, and I have no regrets. Like, this is unreal. Wow. Tell you what, guys, I would never be able to keep this place clean. I know. Mad, isn't it? Yeah, I mean. Do you think our painter George could do that? Wow. Guys, the gardens here are the gift that just keeps on giving. There's so many layers to it. We're currently in what I like to call cactus land. Ryan's smelling everything. Y you smell that all the time, we have that at home. Yeah, it's very <laughs> He's missing curry already, we've been out of the UK <laughs> five seconds. Wow, we're on our way. The last one I think is the rose garden after this. Can't get enough of rose gardens, me. Wow, the cactuses, they just keep on going. Wow. They love an olive here and I really appreciate that. The views here are just sensational. I'm obsessed. I think this might be the most beautiful place I've ever been in my life. So we have just come down to a beach uh, which was near the museum that we were just at, it was the Rothschild Villa. Um, what is this? Do you remember what this beach is called? Um, I can tell you. It's like... It is, I don't know how to say the word, but it's Plag de Passable. Plag de Passable. <laughs> we'll put the name of the beach on Play, the screen. Plag de Passable. That was, that was probably the best attempt we're going at. Plague the possible. We've come down to this beach, it's beautiful. It has like these walls of like Bougainvillea, Bougainvillea, whatever. As a girl that's not a fan of like beaches, I really like this one. So it's really cute. It's got a little restaurant and bar here and it has like sunbeds and stuff like that that you can rent and the food at the restaurant is really nice. Um, we just had went and had a drink there because we were so thirsty after <laughs> this morning's excursions um, and Ryan had a focaccia pizza bread thing and it was stunning but I didn't vlog any of it because I was so thirsty and so hungry that went out the window so this is where we've been this is what we've been doing I would highly recommend uh we're gonna go get an uber home now and have a lie down because we're hot and sticky well a lovely picture for you also yes my outfit has changed um I'm actually wearing the same trousers uh but I brought different shoes that were more walking appropriate shoes in my bag and I bought a bikini and the white shirt that I showed you earlier but if I can I'll show you this when we get back to the hotel room not that I got to go in the sea we realized we just didn't bring towels it was stupid of us but we were actually just saying that we would 100% uh, come back here for a whole day because it's just like such a nice vibe here so we've ended up back in the restaurant that we were just in whilst we wait for a taxi because we're having a nightmare getting home and uh, look at the vibes this is why we loved it and the staff are really nice back in the room I am very tired like I need a nap I need to not be going out for dinner but before we get ready for dinner I thought I'd show you uh the outfit uh that I was wearing I've taken the necklace off it actually in hindsight I feel like it was maybe too much I'm not sure uh but I've taken the necklace off so I just have my Etsy earrings on my Adenola shirt the Hunza G uh bikini Zara trousers YSL 
sandals and then my San Laurent Weave Ghost just because it fitted so much in it. That was the look I was wearing earlier, but now it's time to get ready for dinner. Dinner time, we've got some gnocchi in tomato sauce. La frite, obviously. And then Brits abroad with the chips. And then we've got a lovely cheeseless pizza for Ryan. We're back for round two. There are so many flavors here, it's so cool. So, I hate having to speak to people on the phone. That is my thoughts for this morning. But we are cheering me up. We've come to this cute little market. There's a truffle stall there. Oh, there's a truffle stall? This day is turning around quickly. Wow. I'll take one of everything. This is like Ryan's idea of not a good time, but my idea of the best time. I am in heaven. You're about to witness Ryan trying to decide what to buy. I'm gonna go for this one. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. We'll be here all afternoon. No, I'm sorted. Yeah? Yeah. Are you sure? No. Ryan has been dying to try soccer all week. What are your thoughts? It's nice. It's just, but... It's like a flatbread, so... It's not the most exciting thing, it's nice. I was, when you said it's like chickpea bread, I was imagining bread, and he comes out with this, I was like, why have you got crepes? It's like a flatbread. It's, that is a crepe, honey. I'm trying some. Reminded to everyone, I know nothing about food, so... If I don't like it, don't be offended. It's like a savoury deep fried crepe. Mm. Mm. Do you have this with stuff? Like what is... Is there a dip that's normally... You can have it with them, but uh, I think you can leave it as a wrap. I think. It's a wrap? Oh yeah. I might have just made that up. I would want to put stuff in it. It'd be nice to have like tomatoes and that. You go to vegetables and I go to ham and cheese. We've come to a mall for some vegan patisserie and coffee. hotel and I thought I would show you the outfit that I was wearing quickly so that you can see uh, the top with the trousers um, like I was talking to you about. Um, I thought I would just show you quickly before I throw a bikini on because I think we're gonna go to the beach. Your girl needs a lie down. But yeah this is what the outfit looks like. I'm not showing you my feet because I'm currently not wearing shoes. I'm refusing to put my shoes back on because my feet have swollen up so much on this trip and I may need to buy some flip-flops because things are incredibly painful right now. But yeah, this is the little mango top. I've got covers on over the girls so that you can't see much. Just really nice and simple. We got some nice pics in this one. Um, I'm wearing my Etsy earrings with this just because they're like statement and cool, but like still really minimal. And yeah, just wanted to keep the overall outfit super minimal. And then I took this bag. Ooh. There we go. Um, I took this bag just because I thought we were going to need a lot of things. I thought we might buy some things at the market, which we did. So it was kind of handy for that. Um, and it just was the most kind of minimal of all of my uh, bags as well. I am so excited to just chill this morning. It was a little bit stressful. I had calls to make, had things to sort. There's a lot going on uh, housewise at the moment. I'm feeling a bit like mentally overwhelmed and I'm also not feeling very well either so it's just been one of those days where you're like trying to hold it all together. Don't forget I need to take this and this down to the beach with me. I've got the Clé de Peau SPF for my lips and then the Ultraviolet SPF 50 spray for my face. Uh, this is everything that I bought with me by the way I'll show you quickly. So we have the Hay Estrid razor. I've got my cute little Amazon clip. We've got the Clay de po new SPF 50 plus. Also got the Clay de po the serum, which I love. And this is like a mini-ish size, like basically the smallest size, which is great for me for traveling. And I then have a mini 
Clear de Peau, the cream, the Roche Posay Seek Plus B5 because the dry patches of skin, they love this. Mitch and Jordan, Skin and Me, which I actually haven't used on this trip yet, but I like to have it with me. But normally I do use it, my skin's just freaking out at the moment. I think it was the flight. Uh, then we have the Shiseido serum. These serums are incredible, like they undo what a flight does to my skin overnight. Love it. And then the Ren eye cream, Clarins. Oh, we need to take this Clarins sun cream. And then the Clay de Peau Beauty Emulsion. This is just really nice for my skin at the moment um, and giving it like a boost of hydration. Oh, and also my Clinique Take the Day Off Balm in the mini. And then my makeup is kind of same as usual. Oh, this is my other SPF for my face for when I want like a tint. There's not much that's different going on with the makeup. This is my daily base of choice. I love this. Um, if you're looking for like a Laura Mercier tint of moisturizer dupe, you need to check out Beauty Pie. Um, if my code is still working, I will link it. And then I'm also loving, I've got loads of the Armani eye tints. I'm really enjoying those at the moment. So I'll link the shades that I've been wearing in the info box. Oh, and how could I forget? This had to come in everything that is good. I'll show you when I repack, but everything that is good goes in my hand luggage and I couldn't be without this. This has been saving me every evening because it is so warm at the moment. Anyway, to the beach. Get me to the beach. I need a Coke and a nap. Are you excited? Yeah. Are we in the sea? Nope, I'm an air sign. We don't go in the sea. That's the thing. So our hotel has a little bit on the beach where you can get beds and stuff and we thought it'd be cute to just come down get a bed have a nap enjoy the view he's scoping it out i think he's buzzing this is the best moment of my life there are two chihuahuas on the bed opposite us they are so cute i just love a chihuahua and there's something about seeing chihuahuas at the beach which makes it a hundred times better like, they're loving their vacay. This is the best. just dawned on me about an hour ago that I haven't really eaten anything today apart from the how do you say it, soccer uh, that was the only thing that I've eaten today and um, I have just really not been feeling well I have no appetite and um, headaches my body hurts I'm just I don't know if I've eaten something that didn't agree with me I'm not sure but uh, yeah not my best day sadly and it always just feels so much worse when you're away because you want to just be doing all the things and having the best time and it just feels like such a shame also what has happened i don't understand i think i must have got so stressed at some point that i've like bitten my lip but i like severely bruised it i don't understand my whole lip was actually like swollen up this morning i thought i was dying i'm fine obviously um but yeah i just had a lovely little lie down um on the hotel beach it's really nice actually i would actually recommend i was just saying to ryan i think i would come back here it's very rare that i stay in a hotel and i'm like yeah we'd go back there but this one i'm like yeah actually if we came back down here i mean if we came back down here i'd like to do hotel hopping um there's actually a really cute tiktok i saw the other day that was like a 10 day like tour of the south of france and it was like the, it was it was bougie this is the bougie version but i was like oh that's a really cute idea like 10 days jump along different hotels because these were like crazy mad hotels so i would like to do that in the future i mean i don't know how stressful that would be with all of my luggage but who for thought you know but would definitely if i was making a nice pit stop i would definitely come back here it's just super nice it has everything you need the beach like bit that it has that the hotel owns is nice and you can like, like book beds and some beds and stuff and it's just 
really lovely and the staff was so nice so nice it was just so nice to everyone and it was just it just made the whole experience like i've actually never seen such attentive but like friendly and very comfortable service there's just no bad vibes everyone was just like super friendly super approachable and i loved it a short but sweet little afternoon down by the beach i did dip my feet that was as far as we got i'm now doing some a very glowy evening skin because i just feel like i i feel very lackluster at the moment i just woke up and i was like well skin is not skinning things are just the vibe the vibes are off the vibes have been off the whole day i need to like pull myself out of it because it's just not it's not good we are turning things around for dinner i'm actually really looking forward to where we're going for dinner we saw it earlier when we were down at the market and it just looks so freaking cute so we decided to just make a reservation for tonight because we have just been kind of like rocking up at places so far this week and i just it's quite nice when you just know where you're eating what you're doing and when you need to be there yes skin looks glowy this is good it's going well i am actually also starting to feel hungry now so that is great over the moon about that because since i came off the pill i'm always hungry so now i know when something is not right when i actually don't feel hungry i'm going to use this urban decay eyeshadow this is called moon dust in the shade space cowboy oh my god my favorite jamiroquai song anyone else's dad obsessed with jamiroquai because mine was and then we're just running some nars laguna through my crease this also like mattifies my brow bone and stops my mascara smudging on it it gets a little bit smudgy because it's just so humid here victoria beckham highlighter this stuff is so nice i warm it up and then pop a little bit on my finger it's so good this is one of the products that had to come in my hand luggage because i was like i can't use this i brought the clay de po blush with me because it's just the perfect nudie pink blush one of the best cream blushes i have ever owned i've just there is just there are just so few shades that are like this in the world a little bit on my nose and then i'm just gonna add some of this i love it and this makeup now will not move i also just think the second this goes on your skin the makeup just immediately looks better i don't know what it is i don't know what sorcery is in this but i'm not i'm not gonna ask questions yeah i forgot to do my outfit of the evening so we're doing it in the lift um, this H&M uh, top you will have seen before. I know loads of you loved it so much. Uh, I've got Adenola trousers, YSL shoes, Colt Guy bag, and Celine Sunnies. These look so good. We've got a little April spritz as well. Good morning, everybody. I look great so weird with just half my makeup done i always oh that's the wrong one i always start with my eyes um whilst my spf is setting but it leads to me looking a little bit strange if you are able to apply mascara without getting it all over your eyelids like how does it feel to be god's favorite in life and be that coordinated because i am so jealous of you Givenchy prison libra concealer in the shade C180 coverage is so good. Need sticks bronzer, my go to for the warmer weather. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz is just the gift that keeps on giving. I use this every day and there is still so much product. I keep thinking surely it's going to run out today and it just keeps on going. Lip glow oil. That is the makeup routine done. I need to pack my liquids, so we're going to do things that I would dye. A little bit inside if I lost. I've been decay, all night setting spray, sounding increasingly emptier with every second that goes by. That is going in there. BB highlighter, Dior lip oil, Dior Oudis fan. I'm gonna put vanilla armor in there as well. The Givenchy concealer, always. I just always need this near me. This is the best. Merit Beauty bronze bomb. So that concludes things that would make my soul die if I lost them. And then what I like to do is just pop that clear plastic bag inside another 
case because the clear plastic bags make me sad so we have the new space nk pouches these are so cool I have three of these this is the medium size there's a smaller one and then there's the bigger one which you will see my skincare is in and they sent me this gorgeous orange color which i'm just in love with god guys i haven't vlogged i forgot to vlog and i i don't even think i said what we were doing today but we've made it we're in can what is this? I'm literally, I have just, I just said to Ryan, I've never been this adventurous on a holiday and he like, I, I never do anything on holidays, do I? It's normally quite chilled, isn't it? I'm very chilled, I'm very boring because I get super anxious. This is, this is my level of trust in Ryan. This is the most adventurous I've ever been on a holiday. If we get lost, it is your fault. You're fully responsible in this situation. Now, that's not fair, but. Yeah, I'm really excited to be here because you guys will know when I was here last, I was so, I, this that was the reason that I decided to book this trip and come back because I spent like an hour in Cannes and just loved it. So we're back. One thing I love about the South of France, there are dogs everywhere, everywhere. It makes my heart so happy. My God, I miss Shrimpy so much. Hey guys, I'm back. I am back. I'm so happy to be back. Give me the food. Yeah. Got me ordering a Coke. What have you ordered? I'm totally sure. <laughs> I think it's coconut water, basil, cucumber. I don't know. Wow, that actually does sound quite good. Mm. Oh, the pasta is me. That's Thank you. Good. Merci. Okay, love that food. Glad I went back. Didn't love the service. The vibes were off today. I don't know if it's like that all the time but just be warned because i love it the food is delicious but the vibes are all weird today now we are just going for a little wander around can look at the sea it's so pretty oh, such a nice day it was meant to be like thunderstorms and cloud today and it's just perfect Thank you. 